Thanks for joining us during halftime of the Wofford versus Western Carolina football game. I'm here with the coaches of the Wofford cheerleading squad. Tori, you're the head coach, so I'll start with you. What's it like being the head coach of the Wofford cheerleading squad? It's been quite an experience. I mean, I never pictured myself as a coach growing up, and I, cheerleading has been a passion of mine for so many years now that it has been an incredible experience. I love getting to be a part of this program still. I love that I get to be friends with all of these girls and help them do what they love just as much as I do. The most interesting part about this is that you guys switched roles. You used to be the head coach. I did. And you actually cheered for her. I did. What is that like? But Tori got injured her senior year and so she spent most of the, I guess the second half of your season on the bench with me coaching the girls and so Tori kind of would start giving me ideas and letting me know what she thought about certain stunts and tumbling and I was just thinking hmm she would be a good coach. Did you ever imagine being a cheerleading coach? In high school I was no longer able to do gymnastics and so cheerleading was something I turned to because it did have the tumbling aspect I was used to, the performance aspect, the teamwork and I was so fortunate enough to continue in college and now I'm coaching it, which I, when I was younger, I never would have thought of. So one of your teammates in the past has a new role in your lives now, Tori McDonald. She's now your head coach. What is it like for her to go from a teammate to your coach? At first, it was really cool because we got to see her in a way that we hadn't before and really take on a leadership role. And she already was a leader when she was cheering with us. I think it's really cool now um, to have her as a coach because she is someone who has been a part of our program so she knows who we are, she knows our strengths, she knows our weaknesses and she knows exactly how to work with us to make our program the best that it can be. Initially it wasn't like it wasn't a problem at all it just kind of felt natural as she moved in we just kind of um, it's kind of a blessing just to have that familiar face that's um, knows the program, knows us, and knows what we need. It was just, it wasn't weird for me at all, but it was just like new. I don't know, it was just funny coming into practice and not seeing Tori stretching with us. She gets to wear, you know, nice clothes to games. She's not in uniform, she's doing the counts, and it's, it was like an adjustment, but not in a bad way at all. It was just, it was fun. She knows um, Wofford and she knows the curriculum, she knows where we've been and she knows where we want to go. So I think that has really helped lead us in the way and helped us develop the program and develop Wofford cheerleading into what you see now. So ladies, tell me what it's like being a Wofford cheerleader. People have lots of misconceptions about cheerleading. If someone were to ask you what it's like to be a Wofford cheerleader, what would you tell them? It's a family environment, so we all support each other, lift each other up, and we, it's all about teamwork, and we just all come together and work hard, because we all know we want to support um, Wofford Athletics and the college as a whole. You literally lift people up, not only physically, but mentally, too. When your flyer is feeling down, I mean, not only do you lift her in the air, you lift her in her spirits, in her mind. Um, let her know that she can get through this day, whatever hard test she's studying for, she can get through it. Um, we're really always there for each other and I see it so often at practices. I see the girls, you know, just looking at each other and saying like, hey, you can do this, like, you've got it. There are a lot of misconceptions that come with cheer. You hear the ones, oh, they just put on makeup, do their hair, they go and just put on a uniform, but it's actually a lot different than that. You become an ambassador for the school, so your face and who you are and how you present yourself even outside of in the uniform is representing Wofford cheerleading as a whole. And not only are we ambassadors, we're also athletes. We put in so much work, so much time, and our practices are dedicated to being active, to lifting people, to tumbling. We definitely sh put in just as much work as other athletes, and I think a lot of times people see cheerleaders as just the pretty girls or just the girls who wave pom-poms in the air, when in reality we do so much more. It's no secret you guys are a huge part of game day. What is it that makes you guys so special? Why are you guys that big component on game day? If we weren't there, the field would be silent. The crowd would probably not be as excited to cheer the football team on or the basketball team. I think um, we engage the crowd in a number amount of cheers and it's really cool because um, over the seasons the those people that started out as freshmen and who are watching us they'll pick up on it with us and the next season they'll come back and they'll start to join in and it just builds up every single year. I think we definitely bring the spirit to game day obviously. Um, we are the liaison between the players and the crowd. We know the players want when they want the crowd to be loud, when they want the crowd to you know, cheer them on and help them get that touchdown or 
you know, that extra point in basketball. You're there to hype up the fans and get them involved in our community and in the game and really cheer on the people that are there and make them feel special because if you make other people feel special, they're going to want to perform better. So you all sport is really unique because you not only focus on your sport, but you've got to know enough about football and basketball to cheer them on. So how do you keep up with all that? When we come in, you don't always know every sport's terminology. And so we try to teach that um, from summer camp freshman year. And that way, every game, that just enhances it. And you'll learn more because we, especially our leaders on the team, try to instill that and just make sure that everyone knows what's going on at all times. To really just be aware of, you know, like what is a first down? Like when do you ex expect a first down to happen? And I had to learn that. But we, every year when freshmen come in, like even this year, we're like, okay, does everyone know what a first down is? Because that is really important. Be you know, for a football game. And so we just kind of like go over everything and make sure people understand. And for basketball games, it's really important to know um, the different timeouts because we actually run onto the court and we do perform or throw up a stunt. And so you really have to pay attention during both men and women's basketball games. You guys are wearing the new uniforms you just recently got. Yes. What is so special about these uniforms? We designed them ourselves with the help of our varsity rep, but it was such a fun experience to actually design something new for Wofford because we've never had a uniform like that. Um, it's our only white uniform. It's our only uniform with a Terrier logo rather than traditional Wofford on the front. So it was really exciting to get to be a part of that and bring something new. The coach worked really hard to come up with a new design that was kind of different from our other uniforms. So I think the Terrier was a great choice. It's a new thing. There's a lot of new things going on at Wofford. The amazing arena that's built, the new art center, and so I like we get a little something yeah, new. I mean, we definitely worked hard to be able to have these. It's really a blessing. You guys aren't just leaders when it comes to your sport. You also help each other academically. Isn't there some system that you guys have that you, you know, hold each other accountable? Can you tell me about that? The idea behind that is that us seniors who've kind of had three years of at Wofford, we kind of know the ropes, um, could lead um, freshmen who are similar to us, um, had similar interests, similar majors, things like that. Um, and just kind of guide them to, for the best study ways um, to succeed in school. It's like get together and we'll have lunch and just we see, you know, how our class is going, see if we can help them out academically, you know, s teaching them good study habits because, you know, coming in as a freshman at Wofford, I mean, I had to learn how to study correctly. And so I think it's just great for the freshmen to have that. Our seniors were so gracious and it was their idea actually to form this system where they can help freshmen learn how to study and um, help them learn those time management skills they need that they might not have developed in high school. Speaking of academics, you guys travel so much. You know, you've got basketball traveling, you've got football traveling. Well, you guys have to travel with both of them. So that means you could be missing a lot of class. How do you keep up with your schoolwork and cheerleading? How do you keep that balanced? It's a lot of early mornings and a lot of late nights, but I mean, it's worth it. It just, it's a lot of time management skills. These girls, I mean, they're here for academics first. And that's something we highlight in our program, that academics will always come first, then cheerleading. We definitely hold each other accountable because yeah. um, to be a cheerleader, you have to have a minimum GPA. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be involved, if you want to continue doing it, you have to do well in school. It's not just an option, but it's a requirement. So with sports, you have a recruitment process. What is the recruitment process for cheerleading? Do they try out? What goes on between the coach and the possible new terrier? Right, so first they have to get an acceptance letter from Wofford. Um, that's the first thing and then usually before they even apply they reach out to us as coaches and ask to talk with cheerleaders, come to a game, come to a practice, um, learn more about our program to see if they're interested and at that point we explain to them when tryouts are, um, what tryouts consist of, which are normally late April and um, they show up to tryouts, they do their best and we usually have a amazing squad by the end of it. The biggest thing that I would say is to just reach out to either me or Tori early on the season before. Send us an email, shoot us a text, all of our contact information is on the website um, if you're interested in trying out at Wofford. That way that the girls can know ahead of time what's expected of them, what they can be working on before tryouts. 
One of the things, we don't only look for skill at the tryout, but we look at the all-around individual as well. We need girls that are willing to work hard, that have a great attitude, that would be a great representative of Wofford. Two things I always tell um, the girls that email me, that things they can work on right now are their time management skills, because Wofford is so demanding academically. And our program, I mean, we put a lot of time into it, so you have to be able to balance those, get your work done, keep your grades up. Um, and also versatility is something we love. Um, we have flyers and back spots that are basing right now due to other injuries and having that versatility is so special because we can keep going. Um, just because one person's injured doesn't mean we, you know, we can't be on the field at game day. We can keep going because these girls are willing to try new positions and willing to work towards those to keep our program going. So what about the Wofford cheerleading squad in particular is so special? We as coaches and them as the team, we share in the aspect that cheerleading is something we're passionate about. Um, we don't do this because we have scholarships or because we get nice paychecks. We do this because we want to be here. And it's really easy as a coach to want to dedicate that extra time after our full-time jobs and come in four nights a week or so to be with girls who also want to be here. And they want to get better. They want us to challenge them. And so that makes it so easy for us mm -hmm. to come in and put in that extra time that honestly, nobody here has to. Overall, it's given me the ability to not only um, be able to continue to do something that I'm passionate about um, beyond high school, but also it's given me an incredible support system throughout my four years at Wofford. Coming here, it's so easy to coach girls who are so fired up about doing their sport. I mean, these girls love Wofford cheerleading. They are all about it. Any girl that you pull off of the squad and if you saw them walking around campus and just ask them what their experience is here, I mean, I honestly think that every girl would say that they love it. It's like a family. It's a great, great program to be a part of. We all have one goal and we're all working towards that goal and making sure that we bring the best excitement and involvement to Wofford's game day that we possibly can. You're cheering for your friends on the field and on the court. Um, you don't, I know at bigger schools you know the name, but you don't know them personally, but at Wofford, we know the athletes. Um, we know what classes they have. We know what strug like how they're struggling, where they're from. We are friends. And so that's really, really special at a small school, especially at Wofford, is that we're cheering on the people we know, the people we love.